Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. I'd like to welcome you all for another session for Oracle Apex Pakistan community. So today's session has a cool title, Document Management System Using Oracle Apex. Uh, my guest, Oais Majid, will be showing us how he used Oracle Apex to build a DMS system entirely using Oracle Apex. My name is Salim Hilayel. I'm a product manager in case you don't know, know me. These are my Twitter handles and LinkedIn. Please connect and feel free to ask questions. Today's session is actually based on asktom.com uh, platform. Uh, this is actually the link to the platform. Maybe probably most of you are using that link to come to today's session, but some of you maybe did not subscribe. So if you forgot to hit that subscribe button, make sure that you click it. So you will be always notified about new sessions. We have so many cool sessions previously in uh, Oracle Apex Pakistan community, using maps to factor authentication, exploring Oracle Apex APIs, modernizing forms, and the first session where we called it Learn, Connect, and Collaborate. I encourage you, if you haven't watched them, go to the past sessions, go to the link, and make sure that you watch them. Pretty interesting, especially if you are new to Apex. Now, for those people who haven't heard much about Apex, probably this is their first session. Uh, I'll give just a few slides, very quickly, a few minutes. Apex is a low-code development platform. It's a platform that allows you to write enterprise applications with only a little bit of code, hence low code. It allows you to build enterprise secure and scalable solutions with world-class features. These applications can run anywhere your Oracle database is running. That's including your laptop on a virtual machine, uh, the express edition of Oracle database, the free one, the Oracle cloud, somebody else cloud, it doesn't matter. We say if you have a license to Oracle database, you have a license already to Oracle Apex. Three distinguishing characteristics that we have for Apex is the whole app development IDE is browser-based. So you don't need to install anything on your client to start development on Apex. The end product itself, again, is a web application that requires only a URL. So all what you need to access the application is a URL. You can access that application from your desktop, from your mobile device, from your tablet. Second distinguishing characteristic is the app definitions are stored in the database as metadata. We are not a code generator. We are a declarative platform. The moment you like to change something, all what you need to do is just go to that page, region, or item, do the change, save it, and it's there. There is no complicated compilation. You don't have to move the files uh, taking it to the application server and deploying it. We also provide what we like to call zero latency access to your data. If you have an Apex engine installed in Oracle database and you try to access the records from there, there is almost no latency at all. It's zero latency because the engine is part of the Oracle database. That's why Oracle Apex applications feel snappier and super fast. Thanks to the data processing being done in the database. Now compare this to other traditional platforms where you have an application server, the business logic is in the app server, and the database is isolated in the database server, and then you have to move the data between the two different machines through the wire, going through different switches and routers. That definitely will delay it. Oracle Apex is everywhere. It's a no-cost, fully supported feature of the Oracle database. It's included with all the supported database editions and versions, including the Express Edition, the free one. We have the most relaxed license ever in the industry, I guess. We don't have a limit for the number of developers, for the number of end users, and for the number of applications that you can create with Oracle Apex. As long as you have a license to Oracle Database, or even if you're using the, the free one, the Express Edition, or the always free offering from our Oracle Cloud, then there is actually no limit on those. It's available in all the database cloud services, and it runs on-premise, Oracle Cloud, or even somebody else's cloud. 
The two main links that you should not forget if you are new to Apex is the apex.oracle.com. That's the official homepage. Please visit it. Look at the learn section and navigate through the different sections of the website. And the other site is the community build site by the community for the community apex.world. That's it from my side. I'll uh, leave now the mic to uh, my guest, Oase, to show us uh, the demo for the document management system. Oase, it's all yours. Assalamu alaikum. Thanks, Salim, for the detailed introduction for the Oracle Apex community and for the guidance for the new developer. So I will start my demo or session for by sharing my screens. Guys, if you have any question, please, as usual, don't forget to post them in the Q&A and we will answer them either during the session or at the end of the session. Thank you. Okay. My name is Avas Majid and I have been working as a previous five year by using my skill set or Apex, which is mainly currently I'm working but other skills, SQL, PLSQL, Jasper, Po, Java, Jasper, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Oracle Farm. I have developed mul multiple projects by using my skill set, in which I also add some integration to enhance my functionality in Oracle Apex. Some integration I listed down here scanner integration, Oracle Farm integration as a single sign on, or Google Map, Oracle EBS integration, some JS library integration to enhance my functionality or some time to meet my user requirement and add the entry in SDK or an animation. But in today's session, we will discuss about the document management system. So this is our agenda today. In this session, we will discuss the different impact, different aspect of our uh, document management system in which first option is file uploading option in Oracle Apex. We will see what is a different type of option available if you are working in Oracle Apex. After that, I will show you what is the advantages and disadvantages of using the different type of option which is available in Oracle Apex, or which option you need to use according to your requirement or based on the project scope. After that, I will also show you how I integrate my scanner in my Oracle Apex directly from where I'm just saving after scanning, I'm saving my file directly to my Oracle Apex from directory. After that, I just count the number of pages and text extraction by working in Oracle Apex by using the JS libraries. We, I will also show you some file management API, which I'm using to handle the file stream operation. At the end, I will show you my application live demo. So if you are working in Oracle Apex, we have three main options available to save our file to build the document management system. In which first is the most commonly used is the below card column type we are using to save our file in Oracle data, oh sorry, Oracle database, it's the Oracle database column. It's just a column type in which you can save your file directly from your Oracle Apex. Second option which introduced in Oracle Apex is Apex application temp file. Apex application temp file is temporary container which hold your file which uploaded from user. At the third and last option is you can save your file in external directory or cloud. We will see the advantages and disadvantages of three option, all three options. Then we will, you will decide which option you need to use based on the project scope or based on the project requirement. As our topic is document management system, document management system is always designed to manage the e-document task or e-document operation. Because document management system facilitate us to manage the file operation, like the different file operation which user want to perform. In which the key feature of our document management system is upload file, download file, view file, copy file, scan file, and move file. If you're planning to work on document management system, or if you're planning to develop a new system, you need to keep sure that you should provide this option to user because the user need to perform all operation once they start working in document management system. Now we'll see the different advantages and disadvantages of all option which Oracle provide us to manage the file operation or all any activities which user want to perform regarding to manage the document. In which first is mostly, I think most of you are familiar with this is a B-log. 
The question of whatever use BLOB for the project need to be considered based on the case by case or based on the project scope. For example, because based on the project requirement or based on the file type, you always decide where you want to save your file or where you need to save your file because it's also impact on your database or the scope and the performance level also. BLOB is a good option to add binary data file in a database because it can easily be referenced. How can easily be referenced? Because BLOB is just a column data type. Because it's linked with the other column which exists in same table, we can get the BLOB file by reference of other column values. If we save our file in BLOB, we no need to manage the any extra user right management because uh, same user right management which you applied for other column, it will be handled the BLOB column also. And third advantage is we have is a database backup. Because if we save our file in BLOB, it once we take backup all our file which exists in BLOB, it automatically backup in with the, in our dump file. There are many good advantages, but parallelly, there are some disadvantages which we also need to consider, we also need to keep in mind. In first option is, not all database providers facility to save our BLOB file. Maybe in future or due to some requirement, you are planning to or you are need to move your data from Oracle database to some other Oracle database, maybe it will create problem for you. BLOB are inefficient due to amount of disk space required and access time. Because once you start moving your BLO file, it will increase the database size and it will need more size to manage your database. Once you move all your file to BLO, it will also increase your backup size and it will take time once you import or you export type of activities. Here I also add one more option point in my database the BLO size is always depend upon the DB block size. So you should also need to take care Database BLOB size maximum is article it recommend as a 4 GB, but it always depend upon the DB block size. In second option, Oracle provides facility to save our file in Apex application temp file. What is temp file? Temp file is a temporary location, which give us facility to save our file or hold our file temporarily, but we cannot use this option permanently. Why? Because once we use this option, we need to define the scope of this, uh, this uh, data which we save in this table. Because once session will end or such request will be end, it automatically delete all the file which you save in this table. So depend upon the requirement, you can use only two options. Either file will be stored till the end of the request or till the end of the session. We cannot say that this option is useless. It's very useful in case of you, when you want to save your file temporarily. Like you have a requirement, you want to save your data in case of e-cart or for example, add to cart option, or sometime you want to just save the file and show incomplete application. So instead of calling the from base each time, you can hold the file in temp file and use in your application. And it will be end when the user session will be end. And third and last option is that saving file in directory. Saving file in directory is also a good option, but there is also some advantages, some disadvantages. First is easy to do incremental backup. For example, if we want to take backup of our file, which already exists in directory or upload it from user, for backup, we just need to take backup by copy and pasting in somewhere else in our server or outside the server for backup purpose. If we save our all file in directory, it will not impact on our database performance because database, once we save our file in directory, it will not increase the size of database. Therefore, there's no impact on database performance. It will consider as a third party resource, third party resource, which we just use in our application. And saving file and downloading file from file system is much simpler. It's available in Oracle apps. And migrating data is very easy. In most of the requirement, we need to move our server or we need to change our server for that some type of from development to production or for temporary purpose, we can easily migrate. Because after moving the database backup from one database to another database, we just need to move our folder from one server to other. It is also a cost effective. So if database, oh, the storage size is full, you just need to add the additional hard drive 
to just increase the size of their file storage space. In future, or maybe you, if you plan to move your cloud, move data from application to cloud, it is easy to move your all your file to cloud storage, where you can easily just copy or upload from your local to cloud layer. There are many advantages we discussed regarding the saving file in directory, but there is also some disadvantages. In which most important, you also familiar with this loosely coupled nature of the file on the disk. For example, file will be available. Anyone who have access to the directory can perform any operation because there is no integrity constraint exists between the database record and our file system. Anyone have a rights to use to access the server, they can perform any operation like rename the file, delete file, modify file. So we should also consider this point if we are planning to use this option. I also have a requirement to develop a document management system to cover the user requirement. Because my user want to upload different type of file like XLS, PDF, JPG, PNG, and different large size file. So I will use this option. I hope so you are also working in organization. You receive this type of requirement. Your user want to upload the supporting document or manage their document in our system to manage, to keep their document useful and easy to findable. So in next slide, I will use the third option because I use this option to develop my document management system. If you're planning to develop the document management system, there are some steps which you need to follow. In which most important step is there must be some directory exist where you will save your file. So first step is create directory into the file system. In file system means any space, it will be cloud, it will be your local server or separate file net or some other space which are accessible in your Apex environment or from where from you will upload the file. To create the linking between the physical storage and our database, we need to define the database directory with the same path. So once directory will be created from the sys user, we need to give grants to our privileged user, which will be assigned, which will be using as a application schema user. Once our configuration of the directory creation as a grant will be completed, we just need to call the their file operation APIs to manage the upload file procedure or to handle the other file management APIs. If, if you're working in Oracle database, it's very good for you because all file management APIs are already available in your database. Because UTL underscore file is a PLSQL package program which is already available. So you just need to give grant to user, your user to use these APIs. There are some steps for the APIs operation, which I mentioned down here, it will be happen once you upload your file in which first is util file.f open, it will open your file. Once file will be open in background, you will run dbmslob.read. It will read the content from the file and what is the file type, what is the file nature, and review what is the file type, These all things we, it, it will perform. After reading the file which is uploaded from the browser operation, it will save your file in directory, util file.putra. Once file will be completed, util file.f close, it will close the file from the link or from the session. In, in file management or in my document management system development, I use different type of APIs. In which some API I mentioned here for your reference or for your help. In which first is a base API, util file is actually a util PLSQL program which help us to read and write the operation or to manage the stream operation, which can we perform on the file, which uploaded from the user. So these are all API are already available. You just need to know about this and by the required parameter, which you need to pass, and then you can play with your file operation. In which util file would have to open, it will open the file. F close, it will close the file. F close all, close all open file for this session. Same like that util file dot remove, it will de remove, delete the specified file from that disk. For copy, it will copy all part of file and it will create a new file. Same like that in our op uh, operating system, we will copy some file and paste it again. For example, in copy file, 
maybe in local system once we paste it it automatically use the same name and add the and the addition add the it will add some addition number but if you are using this api it will give you option to what is the name of the new file which you copied and pasted uh, which will create as a paste it you can also get the attribute of the file by using util file.fcat attribute and same like that rename the file by using api this is limited API, but there is all APIs to perform the different operation. You can review this by using things link. Which I also mentioned here, because for each API, what is the required parameter which you need to use, it are available here. It's mentioned in completely Oracle database. If you are new to Oracle or new to Oracle Apex, you just need to grow through this API. Then you can use this API by giving the grants to your schema user. As I mentioned, different API, in which some API I didn't mention, but I mentioned here. So you just, just need to know the API and the required parameter to use in Oracle Apex application. All API I mentioned, like util file.open, he needs some parameter like location, file name, open mode, and maximum line size, this type of parameter you need to provide from front end. After completing the file operation, you can successfully upload the file, view the file, copy file, and remove the file in file system or in directory where you are saving your file. After this, I have a requirement to integrate my scanner with Oracle Apex. Because user want to save their file which coming from scanning directly in, direct, directly in our directories against some reference values. Normally, when I go there to uh, try uh, integrating scanner, there is a twin scanner protocol mostly come with a scanner application by using it's a standard protocol SDK, which help us to integrate the scanner with our application. Other than sc this scanner, you can also integrate camera like the DSLR and we can get that image and save in our database or in our directory based on our requirement. So I found one library, dynamic web to web library, which help us to integrate document scanning in our app. Because behind this, they are using twin SDK protocol. So if you're planning to integrate the scanner in your Oracle Apex application, you just need to check one thing, that twin SDK protocol is enabled or not. For reference, I just mentioned some uh, list of some scanner, which you can use in which mostly scanner we are using in our organization because we cannot rely on single scanner. Once you add the twin SDK protocol, it will support the all type of scanner in which twin SDK protocols are enabled. You can got the complete help for this dynamic standard library from this link. It will help you the complete detail how you can get what is the required parameter, what is the dependencies for this twin SDK protocol for the scanner. For scanner integration, you just need to install the dynamic web event library. It will help you after installing, it will give you the facility, facility to call their all required APIs to get the file required image from the source and save in your container area. After getting the file in container area, you can play with files. You can convert it to below, or then you can save it in anywhere according to your requirement. It's so simple that, for example, if you complete development in the seven server, or you're planning to move the development or in scanner integration to the production or test server, you just need to move their standard libraries. It will move easily all the integration in production environment. In screenshot, I just mentioned there are some JS library used for integration and CS library. This library, once you go from GitHub, you, do, you just need to add in your application. Because this is a new requirement, it will, and so Apex will always facilitate us to extend the possibilities, extend the functionality, any requirement which will not meet our by using the PLSQL or database built-in function API, we can extend the scope by using the JS library, which is normally available for many type of operation. Once we add all this library, we have some function available, there is scope available in our page or in our Apex application, it's up to us where we add our library. And the most com common function which we can use to get the fit a container area, DWT control container. 
DW control container will hold the file which coming from scanner or from camera or from DSLR, any other object which we can add by using the twin STK protocol. Then we can get the DW object or acquire image which come from scanning and then from acquire image, we can convert it to BLOB. After converting to BLOB, we can save our file in VLOB column or we can save our file in directory. After complete the integration with scanner, I have one more requirement from my user. My user want to know the number of pages from of a file which uploaded from user. So I have a one more requirement which cannot be covered by using the built-in functionality APIs. So I have can extend the user func or Apex functionality by adding their JS libraries. To play with the PDF file, I also got one library, which is name is pdf.js and their dependent library, pdf.min.js, pdf.worker.min.js and pdfworker.js. Once I add this library in my page or in my application, that all dependent function are accessible or available in my page or in my application. So same like that in scanner, I call him, I'm, I'm, I'm just check the function name and the, the scope and what is the functionality of this after reviewing the file, I just call a PDF page dot get text content in my JavaScript code. Once I run this call, I check in console that all text content which exists in PDF file are displaying in a console area. After getting text content, it's come to know that there's an index of a page number available. For example, if you upload, you open your file in a PDF opener or in a Chrome, it will always display you the total page and the existing page number. So from the same value, I'm just I just count the index and the num value of the PDF num page and set in my field by using Oracle Apex API, by using apex.item.set value. So I simply, I just add library. I get there is scope come in my page or in my application. I call the dependent function in my JavaScript. After getting the value, I set in my field. So Apex always facilitate us to extend the approach to make the ERP type application or enhance our functionality by adding the third party libraries. Because mostly in any platform, if some requirement will not cover the platform, uh, our tool, we need to extend their approach by using sometimes Java or sometimes JavaScript libraries. After counting the number of page, I have one more requirement regarding this. User want to now, user want to extract the content which exists in PDF file. Most user submitting the form by seeing the value from a file. There is a requirement from user. If any user upload the file, we just need to save their text extracted content, which we can see in a different format, or we can get the value, we can copy and paste by filling the form. So for this same library for farming. Previously, I'm just getting the text content of a specific index value, like number of pages and setting my field. But in this case, after adding the same library, pdf.js and the dependent library, pdf.min.js, pdfworker.min.js, and pdfworker.js. Once I add this library in my page, the function score will become into my JavaScript, like pdf page to get text content. After running this function, there are text extracted from PDF file are displayed in my console, which I can display, which I can see. Once I get that all text content, a page wise, I'm just getting the content and setting in my text area. So by doing this, I just save the all text which come in PDF file in my CLO content area or text area. So what I uh, meet my user requirement like this. Here I will explain a little bit which procedure, what is the method I'm using to upload the file. Upload file in Apex, it will not upload the file directly to uh, the directory. So first it will upload all your file in Apex application temp file. Because once you add some item type in file browse on your page, it will give you two option only. Either you want to save your file in BLOB or you want to save your file in Apex application temp file. So once file will be uploaded from P uh, in Apex application temp file before expiring their scope or ending the scope before the end of session, before the end of the request, we need to save our file in directory or in below. 
So after uploading file, I'm passing the file ID or file name, same form file, file browse, and I'm calling their file management API, which already available in my Oracle database. I'm opening the file by checking their path, volume, and the size. And DBMS lob, it will read the content which exists in my blob file, and then I will save at the end after saving, I will close the file link between in my session, which exists in my session. So this is a simple procedure which will automatically upload my file from front file browse to directory. DMS application we design like that because it's not a separate application or it's not a only application which user can use. We design like that by using the Oracle Apex functionality because we know that we can extend the scope of our application to some other application. Because we have an option available, session sharing or session scope. Once we turn on session sharing, we can call some other application, generic application, which we design for all other application, we can call and set our data by passing their parameter. So I will also design like that. In DMS, we are also saving some transaction values to keep the record or the reference of our DMS file, which uploaded in directories. So same DMS system are used, EBS also using, CMS also using, finance system also using, billing, and the same like that HRMS. But for each system, the reference key values are different. For example, from EBS, the reference value is different. For CMS, reference value is different. For HRMS is different, and billing is different. After uploading file from reference value, we can trace it out. This is standard interface which we are using to manage the file operation or different file activities from a single screen which user can perform any operation. The same screen are accessible in other system like billing, EBS, or CMS application. So now we'll see the live demo of our application, how we are handling the document management hierarchy and what type of activities I'm performing to manage the complete operation. Interesting stuff, uh, ways. We have a question. Somebody has asked, yes. how do you manage the file indexation? Do you index your files and uh, that you upload to the DMS? Yes, for indexing purpose, we have a problems. Once we will upload all our file in one folder, it will create slow performance and impact on performance. So I will explain it here in my demo, how I am handling, we are defining for each template and document separate, separate directories. To, to make, to search the file, to view the file faster. So in, in your demo, you're using only one of the methods that you showed us, which is the external uh, file directory, right? Yes, external file directory only. Perfect. Okay, for the better document management or for better document segregation for the user, we are using two level of hierarchy in my system, in which we define template and their documents. According to my requirement, I use different template and their dependent document. Like in template A, in my case, I use the personal document template. In personal document, I define the different type of document according to my requirement or for my personal data management. So for the better data hierarchy, maybe in future, if I am planning to move my data, so I just come to know that I save my all document file in separate, separate folder. For this, I define separate folder based on their document type. For travel detail, I separate travel detail, create travel detail folder in my directory. For resume, I create separate folder. For basic info, I create separate folder. For each type of document type, I create a separate, separate folder. It's a two-level hierarchy because document will be uploaded and it will keep the reference with the document name and their reference value. Now we will discuss some file management API, which we will use while working on the DMS system. In which first is creating directory. Creating directory is much easier. You can create MKDIR. You just need to give the desired directory. It will create the directory for you. But if you want to make it automate, you can also use a batch file to create directory. It will also check the file or folder already exists or not. If not exists, it will create folder for you. After that uploaded file, 
I am uh, here. I uh, copy in detail. It already explained, but I will addition uh, some more thing in it. After upload, a uh, file will be uploaded in temp space. I'm getting and just rename the file to make it sure that if same file will be uploaded again, its name should be different and should don't not be replaced by someone else file name because many user, different user can upload the file with the same name. So I will ignore their file name and I'm also concatting the sum values to keep the separate separate for each file name. After changing the file name, I'm just calling the same APIs like f open, read, put raw, and f close function to, to my read the file, save file, and close the file. For copy and move file, I mentioned two API with the required parameters so you can get the idea how you can use the existing database APIs. Same like this API, you can use the other API by passing the desired parameter. For copy file, util file would f copy, you need to pass from directory, means existing directory where file is currently available. And the file name, which is already available in your system or which you can hold in, temp in table, in database table. Then add the end to directory and file name. Same like that, for example, if I want to move my file, I define different document. For example, I'm by mistakenly, I upload a document in travel detail, but I need to move document in job detail. So after uploading, we give option to user, user can move file, user can also copy file. So how it will upload? From source, it will, will give this path for travel directory and to directory, we will just give job detail directory. And same file, file we will give, it will move our file from travel detail to job detail. For moving file, after copy, it will remove the existing file by calling the API util file remove, in which there are only two parameter, current directory name and their file name. Same like that, I'm also explaining a little bit about the read file code. For read file code, there is a two parameter required, which is the path volume and the file name, which already I'm considering is available in my database tables. In my, there's a different scope available, different approaches available to view file, like the AH reference, scope, image, like that. But in my case, we are up choosing the file and storing in temporary BLOP object. After temporary BLOP object, I'm converting it to BLOP and saying and displaying into my region. At the end, I will close the content from my close the file and close the relation between my session and the file name. And it will be displayed in my region. I will also explain a little bit code related to the scanner integration. So once we add all trained SDK protocol, SDK libraries in our application on in our page, then this code you can use or you can add or, and you can get the acquired image which coming from scanner or from camera. So once we will scan, we will start scanning, it will return the data in our specific DW control container. In DW control, control container as a image data will come which coming from scanning. After getting the value, I can the code also, SDK also provided some option to perform or to handle the scanning activities. Like for example, in scanner, we have a two option available. We want to use duplex mode or we don't want to use. Or sometime from DSLR or from scanner, file resolution is very high. So before saving, we need to compress it. So we need to define some value. Here I'm using the static value. But in case, in your case, based on the file type of nature, you can pass the dynamic value to set the resolution of your file type. After this. I've got a couple of interesting questions. Oh, sorry. Uh, somebody has yes, asked in the chat, like, um, please use the q and if you can. But somebody has asked, can we use this method on the Oracle Cloud or Autonomous Database? And the answer is no. You don't have access to the file system. You don't have direct access but you can use the object storage. So there is a package called um, dbms underscore cloud that allows you to upload and download uh, files from the object storage. Uh, another person said, can, can we download this presentation? Well, the whole session is actually being recorded and it will be available on uh, asktom.com. So very soon, the link that I've shown you, uh, just visit it and, and you will see the whole thing recorded.
Thank you. Yes. Yes, thank you for this. Thank you for the explanation. So I'm just explaining. SDK also provides a facility how we can deal with scanner and the resolution type. There are different type of functionality available, but I'm explaining a little bit. Other you can explore by going to the GitHub their URL between SDK protocol. Because Twin SDK protocol is very big protocol, is a very big SDK library in which many operation is there. In short, if I summarize thing, I can say you can control your scanner and you can control your camera. Because based on the requirement, some user want to scan on duplex mode, but some user want to use the simple mode. So in du duplex mode, it will get the two image and save in my temporary below container area. Must I will go to the temporary below container area. I'm just providing the path and saving in my directory. So this is scanner integration code. Now we will, I will show you how I'm counting the number of pages and extracting text from my PDF file. So I suppose to, we already integrate the, we already attach the PDF.js and their dependent library, PDF.min.js, PDF.worko.js like this. After that, we have a code available. We have some script available. We have a function of their same file available, which we can use to get the extracted content. So once you are using this API, just keep in mind any operation which you are using, which you are performing on your PDF reader, which you can perform here. Currently based on user requirement or based on the, my uh, requirement of software, I just handle two things in which first is counting number of page and the extracting time content. If this is for F10 file is file browse is name. So I just part the name of file browse item. Once I pass this, it will work like that. It will automatically read the complete data which available in my input set tree, which coming from a file browse or from user. Once file will be uploaded, I'm also checking the length and there is some by default index which are already available in each PDF file. Without that, PDF file will not be exist. In which some is like the title, or you can say that PDF num pages, the size, resolution, many other thing is there. So get page text, we have function available from, I'm passing the page num and I'm just checking, getting the text content function, it will automatically get the complete text content page wise and returning in a specific variable. After returning in variable, by using their built-in APIs, I can save them in my field, in Oracle Apex field, which I define on page level. See, for the number of pages, apex.item.set value, pages text.length. So I consider pages to text length is the index value, which coming as a PDF number of pages. But if I want the text of the area or text of the page, I simply using ipex.item to set value pages text. So by doing this, I cover the both requirement of user counting number of pages and counting number of, and getting the text coming from PDF file. As I am also uploading some file, I'm also keeping some transaction. I'm holding this type of detail like template, document, reference number, which I mentioned it for all other system, we are holding the reference number to keep track. And I'm also I'm uploading all of document in different directory. As I mentioned, I upload this document in Apex Store directory. But for this image, I mentioned in income detail directory. And for this document, I instead enter upload document in installment. Same like that, I'm also displaying the MIME type. So now we'll go to the main screen. This is a screen which I will show you as a main screen and I'm also displaying to my user to manage the file operation. Once I click on add attachment, so I'm from this button, I'm passing the some reference value which I'm displaying on the field. Here there's a no restriction of the file type, but we also restrict the user to not upload any specific type of file in which we can suppose that maybe some type of, you can say the virus or some winner or some MP4 large file. So before uploading from temp, Apex temp space file, we also checking their MIME type and then we will allow user to upload to directory or we will restrict the user to not to upload to the directory. Here I upload the different type of file in which Excel, PDF, Word, image, there's a different type. 
For Excel and PDF, I'm using some functionality or browser-based functionality to display my file in same like that, which we will open same like in Google Doc or in local environment. So I upload this file in my for against the cover letter, so it will be display as the region in Excel format or in Excel content area, which we can change perform, but I will not allow the user to change anything. Here I upload different type of file in which some are PNG, some are JPG. We can also download the file. It will download and give me the name of the file, which I can get it as a date, year, month value, and the ex existing or the current name. So I can download the any file and can I also send the print directly from this page, from this screen. Currently I have no scanner available. So scanner functionality I cannot explain. So scanner scan button is disabled because I manage the rights. So I will not click any by mistaken. So also need, I want to show you, we can handle the rights of the user based on the requirement. So I will also show you how we can get the text content and counting the number of pages. Once I upload the any file, it may same API pdf.js will run and it returns the number of pages and PDF text which can exist in my file. These are a feature which I'm covering in my presentation or in my document management system. But there are many other features you can add in which some feature I'm also working on nowadays to make my project more mature or more extendable in which some function and some approaches, which I'm now working nowadays, is in which first one is Oracle Text. Oracle Text is newly introduced in Oracle database, is very useful, that help us to make our extracted text from PDF file to more useful. You can say that they convert our seal of data to information. In short, Oracle Text provide indexing, world, and theme searching. Theme searching mean based on the specific type of defined nature or the scope or the parameter, we can get the value from C log. In short, if I will share, I'm planning to autofill the form from the uploaded file, which coming from the user. Means once user will upload the file, form will auto complete. So you need to think like that. Apex will always provide well the extendable approach to cover our requirement to make our product more mature, which is not available in our markets. In second approach, I'm planning nowadays to encrypt my file before saving, or then I will pass the some key reference to access my file only from my Apex application. There's some other requirement which come from my user is file conversion, PDF signature, or watermark. Like the someone, some organization, to make her file more confidential, they want to add their company watermark, or they want to some add signature based on some approval system. There's also a requirement to split or merge document. For some point in which I'm working, I also share my the reference uh, link or the link which I'm using to meet this my requirement, I mentioned it here. You can also use the same link for the study purpose or to develop the advanced feature of the document management system. For split or merge document, I'm planning to use JS PDF library, which help us or facilitate me to meet my requirement to merge or split my document PDF document. And at last, I'm also planning to use antivirus services for Oracle Apex. Because there is a requirement come from management, before uploading, we need to scan our file, either file will be virus free or not. For this, I'm also using filescon. There's some reference link, I'm using for the test purpose because it's easily most of help available antivirus services are apex you can see in the link. So you need to work like that or think like that before designing your project. There is always scope available in apex because I develop different type of project in Oracle apex and apex will say never no to me because there is always some scope or some approach available which help us to enhance our application to by using some libraries, some type of PLS packages, some tool or some SDKs, you can say that. These are all of my presentation and my demo. You can also send me some feedback or if there is any problem or, or you can help me or if you need any help, you can contact me by using my email or by LinkedIn. Thank you. Thank you. Very, very inspiring. Uh, <laughs> Somebody has asked, can you add tagging 
Uh, can you tag the files by header to help content search? Is it available now, or is it something you would include in the future? Yeah. Miss, in, miss used, they want to say that the altering the file. Yeah. Altering the file is same like that, which I mentioned in my point, in which I'm planning to, for example, we will give option for user login, user will add some signature, PDF signature. So PDF, they will also apex PDF.js provide a facility, a specific index, we can add specific tag, we can highlight, we can signature, we can add matter mark. There's many possibilities available, but same library which can perform in Oracle Apex. For example, you, you can also highlight the text by the base, for example, you will search, it will highlight the line and that's add some index or signature or watermark. Great. Somebody has asked, is, is the demo link available? Is this public uh, link or is it internal only? Mm. Demo link is internal only, but I will I try to add the okay. all code in my presentation, which will be useful and it will be help you if you are planning to start working on document management system for your organization or for as for your clients. Cool. Because so, so people, please follow always. Uh, he will definitely help you on that domain. Now, uh, very very inspiring. I love it. It's pretty interesting. Thank you. I I don't know how long does it really take from you to do the development. I'm talking about development time using Apex to build this, this app. In this app, I, did, I might add multiple type of advanced feature, but if you are planning to create some only document management system for the basic functionality in which you add, view, upload file, modify file, this one I think, think you can develop in a couple of days only because all APIs or Oracle database also facilitating us and Oracle Apex also facilitating us to develop this. So if you read about the file, which I mentioned as a link from FUTL underscore file, you can develop in a couple of days also. But if you want to also add some advanced feature, so maybe it will take a couple of months. Maybe you need some time to understand the JavaScript library or some scanner libraries. Absolutely. I, I think that's the advantage of having Apex on Oracle database. It's not just a database, yes. it's a platform. So you're utilizing UTL underscore file. There are plenty of packages in the database yes. that you can actually utilize to your advantage, you know, exactly. achieving some requirements uh, for your business. Now, uh, some people think that low code platform does limit the ability to create more complicated applications. Uh, I think after today's session, it, it's obvious that if you needed to do some uh, integration, a uh, very complicated one, or you want to uh, get external libraries, it's possible. Uh, OA today has used an external library uh, to integrate Oracle Apex with, with a, a, a scanner, for example. So I, I, I believe that's, that's highly possible. That, that's, that's the advantage of Apex. We do not constrain you. We do not lock you. So if you needed to write code or integrate, that's possible. I believe you, you agree with me always, or what do you think? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes, because Apex, if you, let's suppose if we discuss about the Apex page in one picture, they always give us option, whatever you file you want to add, extend this approach, functionality, CSS, JavaScript, HTML header, PLSQL API, anything which you are using in externally or to extend their approach, you can use. Most importantly, most of our requirement like hammer.js, fullpage.js, they are JavaScript library available. So you just need to understand, we just need to add, the all functionality will become into your page, same like other framework, once they will give a, add as a link or reference, it will come there in their scope. I actually, what are you, what are you presenting? I, I just got some ideas in my head. I wanted to share with you. I think these features that, <laughs> will, that will be cool if you add them, like if you have versioning, for example, in your DMS, that will be cool yes. so I can see the different versions of the file. Uh, did you Sorry, have it, I missed. Or? I actually, yes, it's already available. What I missed. Oh, it somehow. is? Okay. That's, that's yes, cool. yes, yes, versioning. I'm part of Amazing. the document. I'm handling the version. And there is also a concept. There is a many scope which I'm not handling hiding and hiding, retention. For example, document automatically hide. It will be visible, security, the version control based on the date. It will be create issue document, copying, and the nice. multiple file uploading against single document, this type of activity. Amazing. So it's single Amazing. screen. If I will explain in Apex in short, this single screen are accessible from EBS. Previously, we also are say, using same screen by for calling from Oracle Form, from other applications. So it's never slow, it's never closed automatically, it's never give us no responding. It always upload document fastly and view document fastly. Amazing, amazing. Maybe a couple of other features also came to my mind is like, if you can yes, add perfect. sharing. Sharing, I love it. If you will sharing share. capabilities, I, it's, it's, <laughs> yes. if it's a DMS, I would love to share a certain document 
with some person with you know with certain link that's only available at certain time and then it's expired after that uh, or may maybe you could also allow having if it's an image that you are uploading you know resizing yes. the image do some basic operation with the image before yes uploading it to okay. the dms uh, okay Perfect. i i think my last question to you uh, if there is a feature that you would like to see in oracle apex in the future what that feature would be I will say only one thing because in Pakistan, many people are start working on Oracle Apex. So it's my suggestion. First of thing, you need to take care involved in community because Oracle Apex community is very helpful. I achieve many things with the help of community only. There are many person available. I cannot reference someone name. They're always helpful. They're always see your code completely, view code completely, and will help you, guide you. Even Oracle Apex community alpha for Oracle community, Oracle also introduced platform for IDS platform in which we are submitting our ideas and they are reviewing and they are considering in our next uh, release. So first approach is you need to take part in community and share your ideas. Second approach is try to use, think big, if you're working in Oracle Apex, there are many approaches available, collection, theme customization, template creation, plugin creation, anything you can create, anything you can develop. For example, if someone approaches will not cover by using built-in functionality, create plugin, create template for the design, style, anything like that. Great suggestion. That's it, I'm saying. Uh, uh, thanks for mentioning the ideas. I, I, I'm gonna put the link for everyone. Uh, so that's yes, yes. the link to our ideas application. You can always yes, go perfect. there after using Apex, if you have an idea, if you would like to see a feature that's not available today, just go there, log your ideas. I've seen that always, you, you've logged so many there. And, and <laughs> yes, yes, I submit we, nine ideas. <laughs> we, 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 take, we take every single idea seriously, we read it. <laughs> vote for the ideas. Uh, so yes. the more you vote, the more uh, uh, important your idea becomes uh, for us to actually implement. Yes. So we try our best to implement it. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you for Oracle community and thanks to you for arranging this session and giving us platform to communicate with each other and the learn more and the think more from in Oracle or Oracle platform or Oracle Apex. Thank you always very much. I personally thank enjoyed you. it. I hope to see you in the future uh, sessions of uh, Oracle Apex Pakistan community. Inshallah, inshallah, inshallah. Thank you very much and uh, see you guys. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Wa alaikum assalam.